Commencement ceremony. Participation in the ceremony is definitely a privilege, it's not a right, but we are anticipating a wonderful event as we'll be having it at Wolfpack Stadium for the first time in over 10 years. We do have a COVID waiver for participation, which means in this case, we are allowing students who are not diploma eligible to participate, but there are some criteria. Students who have earned at least 63 credits towards their diploma may participate. If you have less than that, you will not be eligible to participate in commencement. Then only students who have satisfied all graduation requirements and who have at least 66 credits will actually receive their diploma at graduation. So we will have two groups of students that day, those who are graduating and those who are participating in the ceremony. If you have a question about your status, be sure to connect with your school counselor. Be advised anyone participating in a senior prank will be unable to walk in the ceremony and of course, any chemical use or unacceptable behavior will exclude seniors from walking in the ceremony. Photography and attire, look your best that day. Commencement is the time for us to recognize our seniors for their accomplishment of completing 13 years of schooling. So we want to make this an important event milestone in your life. So wear clothing that is appropriate, but also be mindful of the weather. If it is really hot, it'd be important to wear clothing that is light as the caps and gowns can trap heat and, and keep you fairly warm. So wear clothing that will be comfortable, but also appropriate for the event. We don't decorate caps and gowns. We, we don't permit that. Only official regalia is permitted. We do recommend not to wear shorts, especially for gentlemen, uh, sunglasses, flip-flops. And, and regarding to spike heels, we can't have you wear those on the football field. The artificial turf, it will cause tears and will ultimately cause you to fall. Wear wedge heels or flat bottom sole shoes, those would be acceptable. Please make sure your commencement gown is wrinkle free. Just take time to get it out of the package, hang it up and let the wrinkles hang out for a couple of days. And also for photography, Grad Images is the official Park High School photographer for commencement. After commencement, there will be a link on the Park High School webpage to Grad Images to order your graduation photos. Name cards are given to each senior. You will give your name card to the person announcing your name, and then they will read it as you cross the stage. Grad Images will also use these cards following the ceremony to match up the name and the picture so that the pictures are easy to find on their website. For more information, go to the Park High School website regarding graduation information. And seniors, we have a couple of important deadlines in preparation for graduation. The final day for credit recovery work is May 27th. Please be sure to work with your credit recovery teacher to make sure you are on track. Lastly, the last academic day for seniors, and there will be no work accepted after the state, is June 1st. So now is the time to plan ahead, work with your uh, term 3.2 teachers to make sure you have plenty of time to satisfy all your academic requirements in your current classes so that you are ready to go for graduation commencement. Diploma distribution. Uh, we do not mail diplomas. We only issue them in person. At the conclusion of each ceremony, seniors will be gathered and directed to return to the activity center promptly after the ceremony to pick up your diploma. Diplomas will be issued only to those seniors who have met the graduation requirements. Uh, seniors who have not met the graduation requirements, but um, we're eligible to participate in the ceremony. Uh, we'll have to consult with their counselor about what requirements remain uh, for you to earn your diploma. For those students choosing not to participate in the ceremony, diplomas may be picked up in the main office at Park High School beginning Monday, June 7th through Thursday, June 11th between the hours of 7.30 and 3 p.m. On this slide, uh, commencement's costs continued. Honor stoles are $25, cash or check, separate payment, and then the commencement fee is $30, which can be paid online with Smart School K-12. Honor Stoles, that's a $25, not refundable, paid separately from the commencement fee, cash or check in the main office, see Ms. Mortensen. The fee is reduced for students who qualify for a free reduced lunch. If you qualify for reduced lunch, the Honor Stole fee is $12. If you qualify for free lunch, Honor Stole is no charge. Commencement fee is $30, again, not refundable. The $30 commencement fee must be paid online by 3 p.m. by Thursday, June 4th at that link. And again, this fee is also not refundable. 
The fee is reduced for students who qualify for free reduced lunch. Therefore, if you qualify for reduced lunch, commencement fee is $15. If you qualify for free lunch, the commencement fee is no charge. This next slide here, an introduction of some important senior students here, both for our speakers of distinction and seniors who are looking to be selected by their class to speak at graduation. So below seniors, uh, listed below will speak as a single person or a duo and are listed either in a single or pair category on the survey. Vote for one single or one duo. Our people who are uh, looking to uh, address the class of 2021, we have some embedded videos for you to look at in aiding you in making your decision. Hi, I'm Caitlin Swigert. And I'm Olivia Bedard. And we just wanted to talk a little bit today about why we would be good candidates for speaking at this year's graduation. The speech that we would like to give is all about the resilience that our grade has shown throughout the adversity of the last year. I think it's important to encourage and applaud our grade for everything that we've accomplished through this last year throughout all the hardships that we've faced. I also think that it's really important that Caitlin and I come from similar backgrounds, but we also come from very different backgrounds backgrounds especially within the school like i am in theater i'm drama club president and caitlin's an athlete she is captain of the tennis team so we both represent very different parts of the school so everyone will feel represented but also we share a lot of common ground like we're both in band um, we're both captains of the speech team so we know that if we were to speak at graduation that we would include that and everyone would feel like they would have a voice within us mm -hmm. So yeah, vote for us for senior speaker. Thanks. <laughs> Take a walk with me. Actually, we're kind of low on time today. Hey seniors, my name is Nico Ortiz and you may or may not know me, but if you don't, that's okay. All you have to know is that writing is a major passion of mine. And I love finding the meaning behind the words that we use on a daily basis. That's why it would be a fantastic honor for me if you considered me for speaking at our graduation later this year. This year has been rough for all of us, to say the least, and I feel like the importance behind having a conversation with each other has been underlined to an extreme. That's why I wish to use this passion of mine to construct some sort of speech that brings this importance of having a conversation to the front. So, thank you for the consideration, Class of 2021. Hi, my name is Stephanie Luna Ortega, and I want to become this year's class representative. One of the reasons why I want to become this year's class representative is because this year, the class of 2021, we've had some difficult times. But through those difficult times, we've managed to keep going. And we've also had obstacles thrown our way. And we've also managed to overcome those obstacles, which have made us into better and stronger people. And I want to represent so I can show everyone how strong the class of 2021 really is. Dom and I think we're a good fit for speaking at graduation because we want this to be something remembered, even if it's only one small thing taken away from this speech. We're adding new elements into this speech. We don't want it to be boring, cliche speech that people will lose interest in midway through. We want everyone to be engaged the entire time. We want to touch some serious topics, but at the same time, keep it light with some humor in there. We don't want to only focus on the pandemic. This is a celebration of all four years of our high school and want to stress enough how our class will be the change in the world. We will be the change the world needs. We want to also touch over how much we've grown and take advantage of this opportunity and moment. We want the speech really focused on this class. As much as it is exciting to have the opportunity to speak at graduation, we believe we'll get people to think more. We want this to be a graduation speech, graduation speech like no other. We want it to be genuine because we are extremely proud of this class. We think we'd be the best to talk about it at our speech because we are both extremely experienced in public speaking. I have done speech for three years and have been in theater for a, a long time. Dom has been involved with theater and acting for the last five years on stage. And last but not least, we are proud to say that we are part of the class of 2021. 
Hello, my name is Dominic Valadares, and this is my tape on why I think me and Jermaine Wade would be a good duo to speak at graduation. And we think we're a good fit for, good fit for speaking at graduation because we want this to be something remembered, even if it's only one small thing taken away from this speech. We want to add new elements, same time, you know, not to keep it boring, keep the cliche, cliche stuff away. Uh, we want to touch on some serious topics, but at the same time, keep the humor in there to keep the mood light. Uh, we don't want to only focus on the pandemic. This is a celebration of all four years of high, our high school career. And we want to stress enough how our class will be the change the world, the change that the world will need. Uh, we also want to go over how much we've grown and take advantage of the situation and moment that we are in. Of course, we just really want this speech to focus on our class. And, you know, even as much as it's exciting to be able to get the opportunity to speak at graduation, we want people to think more. We want this graduation speech to be like no other. And we want it to be genuine because we are extremely proud of our class. And that is why me and Jermaine want to speak at our graduation. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to uh, introduce our students of distinction who will be speaking at commencements. These speakers are the top four students uh, in your class. Congratulations to Shayla Fish, Henry Fisher, Andrew Fossum, and Lucas Freckinger. The senior ballot, uh, you will have the opportunity to vote for the following people through a Google survey. Ms. Lynn will send the link to your student district apps account today, May 10th. The link is below on the slide. Honor staff, please select one staff member from elementary, middle school, and high school a single student or duo to represent the class as your student speakers, one Park High School staff member to speak at the ceremony, and your senior class song and motto. Now vote quickly. The survey closes Wednesday, May 12th at 3 p.m. Here's the voting link, and the results will be announced via PNL. Next, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Zhang. There's a long tradition of seniors say thanks. Hello, seniors. My name is Ms. Zhang, and I'm one of six counselors here at Park High School. We are so proud of all of you and all your accomplishments this far. Every year, we encourage seniors to think of Park High School staff members that have made a difference in your life and write them a thank you card. Cards can be picked up outside the counseling office and brought back by May 20th to be distributed. If you are a VLA student and would like a thank you card sent, please send me an email with your message and I will make sure your message is sent. Congratulations, class of 2021. And just in a final closing, just wanna say, Seniors, we are so excited for you as you begin to close this chapter of your life and begin to open the next chapter. Please know that your teachers, administrators, our clerical staff, our food service staff, our paraprofessionals are all excited for you and are happy and thrilled for this next step in your life. As we wind the school year down, if you need help, support to get those credits earned, make sure you reach out to all your people. We are here to support you and help you cross that line. And finally, seniors, congratulations. I look forward to seeing you on June 2nd at rehearsal and then again on June 6th for commencement. Thank you.